Good morning, all of you. Good morning, all of you. Hello. Boys, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me better? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Then wish me back. I wished you already. I told you after recording also we have to wish each other. Okay. So, so good morning all of you. Hello. Let's start with the chapter then. Lesson number six, physical change. First one activity is cutting paper. The property of the paper remains the same. Second one is ice melting. Here, the phase is changing. That means from ice, solid, it is changing to liquid. So the phase is changing, the state of matter is changing, but water remains the same. Made of what is to It's a physical change. You see over here? You see? It's melting. You see the Sawing wood. What is meaning of sawing wood? Cutting. You see this? You are cutting the wood, but the wood remains wood. It does not change. The shape or the size may change. But it is called a wood. This is a physical change. Next is dissipating puddle. You know what is called puddle? Puddle is a, a water. It's a puddle of water. After some time, it will evaporate. Isn't it better? After some time, it will evaporate. This is a physical change. We have dry eyes. Yes? You see the change? It's becoming gas. It's becoming gas. This is a physical change. Clay molded into pots. You see this? They're making pots. So it's a physical change. It's a mound of clay and you're giving it a shape. So it is a physical change. So I hope you are you have understood what is physical change better. Now the next thing that we are going to try is, not try, we are going to read is chemical changes. Yes, please one of you start reading. Why start reading with a... Can you hear me better? Yes. Hello? Yes. Can you hear me better? Let's start reading.
Can you hear me now? Boys? Boys, can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am. Let's read them. What has happened in between? Hello? You are not answering it, so I thought maybe you have to go back. Okay, start reading them better. Start reading, I said. Hello, start reading with her. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me better? Hello. 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 If you can hear me, if you can see, yes, better start reading. I said, if you can see the slide, start reading. Okay, okay. Chemical changes. Chemical change is a change in which. Uh, which new substances are formed. Chemical change is also called chemical reaction. Example, rusting of iron, burning of wood, formation of curd for, from milk, cooking of, of food, etc. During a chemical during a chemical change, the following changes can take place. Formation of new substances, heat or light may be absorbed or released Sound may be produced, a color change may take place, a change in sm smell may take place, a gas may be formed. Fine. So you can see in chemical changes, new substances are formed. Okay? How it is new substances are formed? Better due to chemical reaction. How new substances are formed? Due to chemical reaction. Whenever any chemical reaction takes place, a new substance is formed. Examples are rusting of iron, burning of wood, formation of curd from milk, and cooking of food. Do you agree with me? Boys, do you agree with me, Vita? Yes, you agree? These are the changes, right, Vita? Okay. Whenever there's a chemical change, Certain things happen. What are they? First is formation of a new substance. Right, Peter? For example, when you are burning the wood, what you get? You get heat or light produced. When you are burning crackers, what is produced? Sound. Right, Peter? Hello? Do you understand? When you're mixing something, there will be change in color. When you're cooking, there's a change in smell. Or sometime, when you're burning crackers, gas is also formed. Is this understandable? Look over here. See, this is rust. Burning, this is curd, and this is cooking. All are chemical changes. Understood, Peter? All are new substances are formed by the chemical pH. Let's say chemical change one by one. Read, Peter. Start reading. Hello. Yes, 
start with you. Chemical changes are changes made around a growth when it becomes new or different matter. It burns. Temperature t- changes without heating, cooling. It bubbles, make a gas. It changes color. It forms a precipitate. Good. So these are the things we get in chemical changes, right, Vita? So what exactly is chemical change? It's a change. And what it forms, Vita? New or different matter. This is what you have to understand. So in chemical changes, we get a new or totally a different matter. Is this clear? Is this clear, Vita? Second is burns. That is wood. Remember, wood, paper, it burns. And after burning, what it forms better? Ash. So ash is a new substance. Ash is a new substance, isn't it, Peter? Hello? Ash is a new substance. Then, temperature, there will be change in temperature. Without heating or cooling, there will be change in temperature. Okay? It makes a gas. Next is color is changed. Next is there may be PPT. It forms a precipitate. Now, what is called precipitate? When you mix two liquids, it curdles. It becomes like uh, what do you call it? Curd. That is called as precipitate. When you will uh, go in ninth standard, uh, you will be shown all these practicals. Then you will see the precipitate in the laboratory. Now let's see what exactly is chemical change. Read with them. Please read, Zohar. Please start reading with her. Yes, miss. It involves formation of a new substance through a chemical reaction. So what do you see? A new substance is formed, right? And how it is formed better? Only due to chemical reaction. Is this clear? If chemical reaction do not take place, no new substance will be formed. Is this clear? Is this clear, Vita? Hello? Yes, miss. Now we see indicators of chemical change. Wait, Vita. Indicator of chemical change. What is indicator? What is indicator? By which you can say, yes, there's a chemical change. That is called indicator. Right, Vita? Yes. Wait. Production of new substance, uh, new detectable substance. substance. Production of precipitate. Yes. Changes in temperature, product of light, Production. change in color or order. Order. So what is order, Vita? What is order? What is order? Hello. What's happening better? Suddenly you become blank from the UN. What is order? It is smell. The other name is odor. You can see over here, at first, how can you say there is a chemical change? You will get a new noticeable substance, which you can detect, which you can find out. That will say that there is a chemical change. Second, I told you just now precipitate, it's like curdle. When you mix two solutions, you get a new substance that is called precipitate. Also, 
there will be a change in temperature. Now, if you are holding this, some reaction going on in a test tube, when you hold it, you will feel it warm. Sometimes when you hold it, you will feel it cool. So there is a change in temperature. Now, if you feel it hot, it is exothermic reaction. If you feel it cool, then it is endothermic reaction. So there is a, a evolution of uh, heat or there is absorption of heat. So both ways are happening due to chemical reaction. And hence, we get exothermic and endothermic reaction. Then we have production of light, I have already told you, due to the bursting of crackers. Then there is a change in color or odor. Let's take uh, the example of uh, curd. There is change in smell of curd. It does not look to be uh, like milk. And change in color. Now, we can talk about vegetables. When we cook vegetables, there is a change in color. Right, Bitta? Hello. Is this clear? Now we do detailing what happens in a chemical change. Read better. Hello, start reading better. Hello. Hello, start reading better. Can you hear me? Seven standard. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes, start reading better. Uh, are you able to hear my voice or not? First of all, tell me that. I said almost five or six times hello and then you are answering right now. That means, was I audible to you earlier? Yes, voice? Then what is happening? I was not able to get your voice. Is this so? Hello. I'm not able to understand what's happening. Okay, start reading. When a substance undergoes a chemical change, it is changed into a different substance with different proteins. Properties. To, to identify a chemical change, look for a thing such as a color change, Science. bubbling, and a fizzing. Light production, smoke, and persons of, of heat. Person of heat. Example: baking a cake. So, whenever any substance is undergoing a chemical change, you get a different substance, and the property also changes. Now, I'm making curd from milk. Right, Bitta? I repeat, I am making curd from milk. The property of milk is different than the property of curd, right or not? That the property changes. It's become a totally different substance with different properties. Milk is sweet, curd is sour. It's got a typical smell. Isn't it, Bitta? So these are different properties. Now, if you want to know whether there is a chemical change or not, you have to see for what are things? First, color change. If it is bubbling, that is gas production, and fizzing is same. You know the fizzy drinks, when you open the cork of the fizzy drinks, you get that whizzing sound, whizzing sound you get. That's why it is called as fizzy drinks. Then we have the light production during the cracker burning. Smoke, cracker burning, and presence of heat, same cracker burning. Is this clear? Now you see over here, baking a cake. So you have added so many things, baking powder, baking soda, the refined flour, 
you have sugar you have got ghee butter whatever and then we bake right beta we give it heat we uh, put it in a preheated oven and we bake if you take all the things separately they taste different they look different but when we combine all of them we see a cake a beautiful cake delicious cake you understand so the properties of refined flour sugar then butter margarine everything has changed you put vanilla essence whatever now we get a cake by putting all those things we got a cake so it's a chemical change is this clear is this clear beta no we are going to see the examples of chemical changes read read beta start reading read better Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me, beta? Hello. Hello. Boys, can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes, start reading, better. Ma'am, what? It's a chemical change. Examples of chemical changes: paper becomes ashes. Paper ashes. becomes ashes. Ashes. What ashes. is ashes? What is it? It's called rock in Hindi. Ashes yeah. means when you burn it, it becomes rock, right? Next is signs of a chemical change. So you can see precipitation over here. This is how it's called precipitation. When you mix two liquids, you get precipitation over here. Then we have a color change. Can you see the color change, beta? Yes. Can you see the color change? This is chemical yeah. change. Then we have gas production. What we have, beta? Gas yes. production and temperature change. You can see temperature change over here. It's becoming solid. It's becoming ice. This is temperature change. Okay. And I see the gas production. When you are bursting crackers, you get the gas production. Read. Read, beta. Start reading. Hello, start reading, beta. Yes, miss. A chemical change occurs when fireworks are used. Fireworks are made of metals such as magnesium and copper. These changes chemically. as they light up the sky the what is chemical change is occurring we giving a certain example when we are talking about fireworks what is fireworks that is crackers burning crackers now fireworks are generally made of metals which metals are we using magnesium and copper and when we burn it it changes chemically 
and it lights up the sky by making noise by producing heat and light so this is what you can see in the sky when we burn the crackers light up fluid burning please read when you are using the lighter it burns is it that is chemical change what is it beta the petrol in the lighter it changes into gas that is light is this clear this is also chemical change can you see when you are heating it fumes come out gas comes out this is also chemical change read beta Start reading. Start reading and sit with her. Hello. Yes, Miss. Yes. Start reading, with her. A reaction takes place, creating a new substance. Usually hard or impossible to reverse. Example: Cooking an egg. Understood now. What we saw in physical change, there was reversible, but in chemical change, it is not reversible. So we first create a new substance that we all understood. We get a new substance in chemical change. but you cannot reverse so reverse is cross example you boil the egg right from the egg you got a boiled egg but from the boiled egg can you get an egg no so it is irreversible what it is beta irreversible isn't it beta what is shows over here see from here you can make it but from here from here you cannot make it is this clear so that's why it is called as irreversible okay all of you understood i will say examples for chemical change you are dissolving sugar in tea right beta you are sugar dissolving in tea is a chemical change if you do not dissolve sugar you don't get the sweet taste so when you dissolve you get the sweet taste so we are getting a new substance altogether then we have logs burning logs of wood which is burning and turn to ashes we get a new substance then we have breaking water up by separating it into hydrogen and oxygen we only know that water is made up of h2o hydrogen and oxygen right beta hello and if we electrolyze this now if we pass electric current through it then hydrogen and oxygen can be separated Toast burning. It is a chemical change because it is burnt. Can you see this? It is burnt. It's a new substance. You cannot eat it. You have to throw it up. Rocket fuel burning. It's a chemical change. Candle burning. Please put off your mic. It's a chemical change. Ripening of fruits. Can you see this ripening of fruits, beta? This is green. It's in the process of ripening. Can you see this? It's in the process of ripening. It's ripening of fruits. See, it. If you have a taste of raw banana, it is different. But the taste of cooked or not cooked, I would say. Matured banana or ripened banana is different. So what is it? It's a chemical change. 
milk curdle see you can see this milk has been spoiled it has become paneer we made paneer by curdling of milk that i hope you know that so paneer is cottage cheese what is called paneer this is paneer what is the other name of paneer beta cottage cheese understood understood beta hello yes then the another chemical change you can see over here silver tarnish you know the color of the silver changes so this is tarnish silver it has become pale yellow it's lost the shine so it is called as tarnished then we have this rust can you see this metal rust this is also a chemical change we get a new pro a new product all together new substances okay now we are going to i am going to read it and you have to read the answer now change you have to identify whether it is a physical change or a chemical change if we tear the papers what is the change beta what is written if you are tearing the paper what is the change boys yes ma'am what is the change if you are tearing the paper what is the change read it physical change physical what is the change, physical change. when we are mixing salt and water what is the change physical change yes physical change yes but it is also chemical change as well because the water will become salty it will be salty water so chemical will also change it will become salt solution so chemistry will also change so we will add physical plus chemical change bones paper it turns to ashes what what we will say chemical chemical change evaporation salt water what is it physical evaporation time. it is a physical change mixes vinegar and baking soda what is the change chemical change we are adding chemical change let's do activity 6.6 That really matter. Get a small pieces of thin strip or ribbon of a um, man use. Clean its tip with a uh, sandpaper. Bring the tip near a candle flame. It burns with a bright, brilliant white light Brilliant. when it is completely burnt. Kokarma. You have to practice better. Kokarma. Okay. Keep practicing at home. Okay. Burn. It leaves behind a powdery as dust as as dust the as dust. Look like the man. Man, you seem. Man, you seem. Man, you seem. Ribbon. Ribbon. The change can be represented. Represented. Sentence by the following equation. Man, you seem. M G plus oxygen two. O two. Man, you seem. Oxide M G O. Okay. What they have said? Let's take a thin strip or ribbon of magnesium. It's a metal. Then remember, this magnesium gets oxidized in the presence of air in the atmosphere. So we have to remove all the oxidation process on the surface of it. So what we will use? We will use a sandpaper. We will remove all the oxi oxidation or oxides of magnesium. Right, beta? then with the help of tong hold it and get the tip near the candle flame it will start burning and you will get a white beautiful light
brilliant light, very sharp light you will get, white color. And when it is completely burned, what you get down? You get ash. What you get? Ash, powdery ash. Now the question is, you have taken the magnesium ribbon and you burnt it and you get ash. The magnesium ribbon and the ash look alike. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I asked you the question, I think so. The magnesium ribbon and the ash, they look alike? Okay, just a different. No, ma'am. No. Isn't it? It does not look the same. So a new substance is formed. What is the new substance? Ash. Dark is the Ash. What is the chemical reaction happening? This is the magnesium, Mg. And we are burning in the presence of oxygen, O2. What we get? Magnesium oxide. So this ash is magnesium oxide. Is, is this clear? So we got a new okay. substance in the form of ash, which is called as magnesium oxide. All of you understood? Yes, ma'am. Nicely? Yes, ma'am. You want to ask me any question? No, Just check the time, better. Just check the time. How much time is left? And 30 more minutes is left. Three minutes is left. Two. Two minutes, okay. Does not matter. Then we will not take up the uh, next slide because I need some more time. I think, I, think, I think we can take it. Oh, we no, we cannot take it. It takes some time. So is this clear, this slide? Yes, ma'am. Yes? Okay. And please revise at home. Whatever I've taught you, please revise at home better, okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay, better. And then have a good day, Vita. Yes. Okay, enjoy and have a good day. And revise. Bye. Please do revision. Bye, Vita. Bye. I'm going to